we're back again from the North American Handmade Bicycle Show, this time bringing you the weirdest, the most wonderful, the craziest bike tech that you will have ever seen. Right, uh, where should we start? This remarkable build from Rob English started out as a concept bike for a customer and is now on its eighth iteration. It's perfect for people who lack space, whether that's a small flat or traveling on the train or in a car. It's known as Project Right, so you'll see here that both the drivetrain and the braking is on the right-hand side of the bicycle, and this means you can take both wheels off of the left-hand side without affecting your shifting or braking. Rob had these hubs designed specifically for this build, and all you need is a 5mm Allen key to remove them, and it actually means that both wheels are interchangeable, which is really handy. It's remarkable how he's achieved all of this without actually compromising the ride feel, and they promised us that if you were blindfolded and rode this, which I wouldn't advise, that you wouldn't actually notice the difference to a conventional road bike. So this has got to top our weird and wonderful category, and I'm really lucky to be joined here on stand by the guy behind Dear Susan himself, Peter, what is the name of this bike? Uh, this is, we've been calling it Project Pubes Mobile. And, and, and why do you give it that name? So it's uh, a collaboration between myself and Mr. Pubes of Bicycle Pubes, um, whose first name is actually Pubes, which oh. I found very surprising when I first met him. That is surprising. So talk me through the frame. There's some really cool details here. What's your favorite parts? Uh, I, I really enjoyed making the fork, although it was the most time consuming fork I've ever made. There's lugs inside the lugs, and inside those lugs, there's things cut out. So I quite enjoyed making those in terms of like frame building. And the geometry was pretty challenging. Like I've been making a few off-road tool bikes and that is like a bit of geometry that I don't think anyone really understands. It's like inherently a bad idea. Yeah. So making it the least bad is hard. And how did you choose between disc brakes and rim brakes? <laughs> Well, rim brakes are just silly. Okay. It's 2019, come on. But they're, they're nice to look at, so I, the calipers are there, but the rims aren't. But if you put your mic next to that whoopee cushion right there. Right. Uh, <laughs> Fabulous. Dublin-based carbon fiber specialist 51 took inspiration for this build from the Russian pro cyclist Berzin from the 90s Bianchi time trial bike that he used to ride before taking a win at the Giro in 1994. It was of an era before the UCI brought in much more stringent rules about frame design, so really the builders had much more liberty here in terms of what they experimented with and produced some really fascinating builds like this one. Cannings will be especially chuffed that they didn't adopt the traditional Celeste paint job of the Bianchi, but instead took inspiration from a totally different decade with the 70s Brooklyn jersey, which, which I think looks absolutely mint. And if that wasn't enough, check out the matching Silka pump as well. Now a bamboo bicycle build is pretty cool, but then you factor in that these parts were exclusively sourced from a local bicycle cooperative, and that's pretty impressive. But then you check out the adaptations for this bike that mean that you can carry your surfboard with you on the bike. And that is really, really cool. Just look at those drop handlebars which are used as mounts for your surfboards and the inner tubes which help strap it on. Even the bags are made out of recycled inner tubes. This bike is almost enough to make me want to take up surfing. Yo! <laughs> now we were just popping out for lunch, but I could not pass this by. Look at this incredible tall bike. I would give anything to give this a ride. In fact, I think you could fit about three of us on there. I would love to know who rides this. It's a pretty epic proportions as well. I mean, just this rear wheel is a 36 inch and that chain ring, that's got to be at least 90 teeth. Now, as well as being one of my favorite builds here at NABS, I definitely think this would be one that Lloydie would approve of. It's a collaboration between frame builder Curtis from Retrotech and Paul Components and the real aim behind this bike was to get as many components and parts as possible from local builders. So most of this bike is actually from California. As well as the incredible craftsmanship that has obviously gone into this bike, one of my favorite stories is that parts both from pool components and white industries all went into the anodizer at the same time with this custom green, which has been color matched for the classic Sierra Nevada green. 
Another really cool thing about this bike is the copper detailing, both on the front crate, which Paul made himself, and on the rails of the Brook saddle, which pay homage to the copper tanks which the beer is brewed in. How cool is that? You might remember at the Rio 2016 Olympics when Felt unveiled a new secret weapon for Team USA. It was a left-hand drive track bike. They said it was optimised for aerodynamics on the velodrome and here today we see one of only 10 new crank sets made by Affinity Cycles here on, again, Brooklyn-based Weiss. You'll have seen Kenny's using Spray Bike to paint his own bike in the upgrade feature but these guys at Squid have been doing it for three years. Emily and Chris, the master painters behind the business, have done hundreds of frames, and I think you'll agree there's some really radical and leery paint jobs, which are super fun. Squid have a cyclocross race team too, and Sammy and Anthony were selected by the USA team to represent at the World Cyclocross Champs this year on these really fun bikes. We hope that you've enjoyed this refreshing look at some really alternative tech just as much as we have. But for now, that's a wrap from NABS. Time to get back across the pond. It's matching silk pump to match. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> really you might remember from the Rio. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> I feel I wish I was you right now, you know? Like not being able to see.